terrifying stories of what they saw as the shooter went on his rampage. Moments ago, I spoke with Jose Mares and his wife, Miriam Rodriguez, and here's what they had to say. Jose, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, where were you when the shooting began, and what did you see first? We were standing in line to get our tickets to board the plane. Uh, we were like pretty much close to the end of the line when everything, me and my wife were just talking. And then from there, that's when everything happened. It just happened so quick. And had you noticed the gunman before he started shooting? Just once he did. It was a quick view to him. And once the, the bang went out and that's it. So it was kind of odd that a guy in blue just walking around with the big assault rifle. Did you think initially that he was part of security or the TSA? Oh yeah, I thought he, well he blended in pretty good with them, so I thought he was part of him. But it came to the point where he just had a rifle, he's like, okay, he's the only one with the rifle. So that, you know, I ignored that. So next thing you know, we just kept talking in line and next thing you know, the first bang went out and then we just stood there and then next thing you know, the multiple shots went down and that's when we went down with it. And was there any moment of confusion when you first heard that gunshot or did you know what was happening? No, at first we were all confused. The first one, it was a loud bang. We were all confused. We thought it was like if someone dropped something to the floor that you don't even know what was it. And then after the several shots went down, that's when we all hit the floor and we managed, well I managed to get on top of her. Well, I managed to get on top of her. That's when I reached for a lot of luggage and made like a wad out of them. Miriam, what was going through your mind when all of this was happening? I was just really scared and I was still shaken and I was just scared that maybe he was going to come towards me and my husband or to where we were laying at because he was able to peek out to where he was coming to. And he's like, I see him coming. I see him coming. We need to leave. So he's like, we need to get out. So he just told me, okay, you know, he just grabbed my hand and we just headed out the door. Well, Jose and Miriam, we are so thankful that you are safe this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. I can imagine how frightful that must have been. I've been to that airport many times and uh, we appreciate uh, you joining us and telling us about what transpired yesterday. Thank you so much.